please give a round of applause to our 2024 Steinbrook recipients. Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany Terrell and I would like to read a little bit about myself. At Entry Village, people know for my perky personality. It's something everybody loves about myself now. I came to the village a year ago through the Patricia Handy Emergency Shelter. Now I live in one of the permanent supportive housing programs at the flagship location. I know that I'm very bubbly and the people here, they love my bubbly personality. They love me like they love my smile. And they love when I wake up in the morning and they hear my voice. Everybody knows when I come downstairs, I brighten up everybody's day. I like when people like me for who I am. I didn't always see myself in a positive way. People complained that I was too loud. <laughs> I don't mean to be loud, but I have ADHD and bipolar too, which is managed by medication. Growing up, my family didn't understand my mental health issues. In school, I was often suspended for behavior health issues and frequently anger outbursts from dramatic experience from my childhood. Growing up, I moved from this program to that program for my behaviors. It's been difficult and my family don't understand that me not having the support of my family is hard for me. My mother has her own challenges with substance use disorder. And last summer, I lost my mother's mother. I was particularly close to my grandmother and I miss her deeply but I keep my grandmother in my thoughts and source of inspiration. Over the past year, I work hard to overcome my anger and negative attitude. If my grandmother was here, she would be like, Symphony, I am so proud of you. <laughs> the support I received from the village community has been important to my growth. They help you with a lot of things. As far as your mental health is concerned, I can go to staff and actually say what I'm feeling and they understand. It's a very understanding community. Thank you to everyone at Entry Village who helped me on my journey. Good evening. I would like to share with you a poem that I wrote. My story is called Don't Count Me Out. Life didn't come so easy for me. Being raised by my grandparents, who didn't have it all together but figured it out. Let's take a trip down memory lane. I was born to a mother who was on drugs, crack cocaine to be exact. She had addiction so bad, she even did drugs while I was in the womb. She was about to sell me to someone for drugs until my aunt and grandmother went to court and got full custody of me. Imagine yearning for a mother for years and she was nowhere to be found. When did she come around? She had gifts to buy, I love. My grandmother was my everything. She taught me all that I needed to know. When she passed, that's when life really began. My aunt continued to raise me and my siblings. I graduated high school, but I dropped out of college because it was too expensive. I became homeless with nowhere to go. I was hopping from house to house. My sister and I slept on the street for days. We decided to go to my mother's house. It was good in the beginning. The drugs took over her. Watching her do drugs and seeing different men coming in and out the house and use her for drugs took a toll on me. I asked myself, does she really love me? Finally, I signed up for a program that transformed my whole life. I went from having low self-esteem, being mentally abused by a mother to now loving who I am. I had to make a decision. I had to make a decision to get out the house 
and keep going and never give up on myself. I went from transition housing to my own apartment. I went from living paycheck to paycheck to having a nice salary job. I went from not battling the identity issues to knowing who I am. I went from having anger issues to be able to speak up on what's bothering me. I went from facing abandonment issues to knowing how to set boundaries. I went from second guessing myself to having self-confidence and loving the person I am meant to be. The <clears throat> This program gave me the resources I needed when it was coming to making money and knowing how to budget. It gave me a place where I felt safe enough to be vulnerable and open enough to share my thoughts, the things I was battling in life. I thank God, Industry Village, and the staff that supported me through this journey. This is just the beginning. I'm not done yet. I haven't given up on myself. I can't wait for what the future holds. Thank you. Well, the buck stops here. <laughs> um, good evening to everyone, and thank you for honoring me today, as well as my fe fellow um, honorees. Thank you. I came to industry directly from DC jail. The day that Sangeeta Joshi came to interview me for placement in the industry recovery house, little did she know I was interviewing her as well, <laughs> to see if it was the right fit for me. As we talked, I became more intrigued by the program. As I sat and listened to how industry would help me to get my life back together, I quickly said yes, and Sangeeta started my paperwork. Before coming to In Street, I was on the streets living a life that I knew God had not intended for me to live. God had blessed me as I grew up. I was an outstanding girls basketball player in high school. I was an all-met, all-American player and graduate from H.D. Woodson Senior High School. And I went on to college on a full scholarship. But then I got lost in the street life until five years ago. As I entered in street, I was instantly shown concern, understanding, care, and most of all, love. The sisters in the program, and my sisters, they all around. The sisters in the program were all striving to live a better life, and I wanted that as well. The main question I kept asking myself was whether I had the courage to change. And although I am not perfect, I started to learn who I really was. As I let go of the trash and allowed myself to be filled with peace of mind, purpose, and tools that were needed to continue my journey, I embraced the change. I knew right then that God was with me every step of the way, and he wasn't finished with me yet. He had placed angels along my path to hold me up when I stumbled. Even though there were times I felt like I had no one to look to, I looked into my heart and I knew there were people there for me, such as my in street family, my sister Nicole, my grandson, who is my heart, Kazir, my uncles, but most of all, my God. In accepting this award, I would like to dedicate it to my daughter and dear Frazier who passed away 10 years ago. Thank you all again, and congratulations again to my fellow honorees. But please continue to do what you can for N Street. There are a lot of women out here that are in need of a second chance in life, of a new way to live, or just the beginning of life. Thank you again. Thank you.